In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs> Let us pray. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son, having conquered death, should pass over into the realm of heaven, grant, we pray, to your departed servants that, with the mortality of this life overcome, they may gaze eternally on you, their Creator and Redeemer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us out of destruction. But they are in peace. For if before man indeed they may be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality, Chastise a little, shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in a furnace he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings he took them to himself. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. For Christ, while we were still helpless, yet died at the appointed time 
for the ungodly. Indeed, only with difficulty does one die for a just person, though perhaps for a good reason and a good person one might find even courage to die. But God proves his love for us and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. How much more then, since we are now justified by his blood, will we be saved through him from the wrath? Indeed, if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, how much more, once reconciled, will we be saved by his life? Not only that, but we also boast of God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowd, Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. At my death, my one request would be, please don't spend time talking about me. Spend time praying for me. That's what I need. All Souls is a day specially set apart that we may remember and pray for our dear ones who have gone to their eternal reward and who are currently in a state of process of ongoing purification in purgatory. In fact, the Church remembers the faithful departed not just on this day, but throughout the entire month of November in a very special way. And I find it interesting, C.S. Lewis, who was not a Catholic, said that our souls demand purgatory, don't they? And then he gives the example by saying, imagine showing up at the gates of heaven, and yes, because Jesus has paid the eternal price for my sin, I can go to heaven. But he goes on further and he says, imagine 
showing up to those gates of heaven and they say, come on in. And you are uncomfortable because you have these filthy rags on and you feel like you need to get cleaned up some more. But they say, no, 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 no. Just come in and share in the joy. Well, C.S. Lewis says that we would say, I know you'd love me if I walked in there. But all the same, I prefer to be cleaned up first. I know that you'd accept me, but all the same, I would prefer to have all those attachments in my heart to be detached so that I can be completely free to give to the Lord completely. So ultimately, you see, this all comes down to how we see salvation. We believe in this thing called intrinsic justification. What in the world is that? Intrinsic justification. Well, that means that from moment to moment, we get to cooperate with God's grace because we believe that God is present at all moments. And we believe that he is inviting us to cooperate with him at all moments. So the consequence is that I may die in friendship with God in his grace, but I haven't fully given my heart to him. Purgatory is God's gift. That final purification where whatever is in my heart that shouldn't be gets purified by his grace and by my cooperation with his works, his love, and his grace. So purgatory is a gift of God's mercy. Padre Pio said, many souls in purgatory are here with us and asking for prayers. Let us not forget them because they too will not forget us when they are before the throne of God. So if you get a friend out of purgatory, you have a friend for eternity. And this reminds us that the bond between the living and the dead is not broken by death, but is an eternal bond, a bond of love that transcends time and space. So praying for the souls in purgatory means believing in the power of Christian charity and the strength of intercession. But one aspect of purgatory that I want to highlight is that we live in purgatory now if we are willing to. The point is, God gives us everything we could possibly ever need to be prepared at the moment of our death to step into his presence in humility, in love, in joy, completely compa prepared to love him as much as we could possibly love him. But very few of us love God like that. So God has given us purgatory. But I want to say that purgatory is kind of like plan B. So what's plan A? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because plan A is that we become those kinds of people by God's grace in this life. We don't wait until after we're dead. Plan A is that God uses everything that happens to us in this life to help us become the people that are ready to be with him in the next life. So what if you got out of bed tomorrow with that conviction, with the mentality that whatever you bring to me today, in other words, to God, God, whatever, he, whatever we bring to him, whatever it's our suffering, our discomfort, our interruptions, our pains, our joys, God, allow me to go through this and use it as you will. See, if we could say that, 
that God used this to change my heart, to become a heart that can love you the way you deserve in every moment of the day, that would make a difference in our life. That would radically transform the way we live, the way we love, the way we pray, the way we saw what this world was all about. You see, plan A is about doing the right thing now. Living holy lives now. Staying out of sin now so as to be ready to go to heaven right at this very moment and to avoid purgatory altogether. You see, it's really about what I've kind of been saying the last couple of weeks about letting go of the banana. Remember when I said, what's, what's holding you trapped? Let go of that banana. It's about recognizing that you are significant to God right now. And we don't need to seek to be significant to anyone else because if we are significant in the eyes of God, that's all that matters. So on this All Souls Day, indeed, purgatory is a gift, fabulous, incredible gift. And we need to pray for the souls who are there. But let's remember plan A and work on avoiding plan B by transforming our lives each and every day to love God the way he deserves every single moment of every single day.